Okay, hi little makers. Uh, today we're going to talk about a a medal that's given to the best illustrator. There are many medals that are given to a, a lot of the authors and illustrators for children's books and, and adult books, all kinds of books. But the one that we're going to talk about today is the Caldecott Medal. The Caldecott Medal was named in honor of 19th century English illustrator Randolph Caldecott. It is awarded annually by the Association for Library Service to Children to one person. There are honor ones, honor medals, which are silver, but there's only one gold. And since 1938, the medal's been given to the best illustrated books. And you see it when you're in the library. Look at the illustrations on it so you can see how beautiful they are. They were chosen as the number one from all of the books for that year, and maybe even years past. So today we are going to be reading the book that got the 2021 medal, and it is called, We Are Water Protectors. We Are the Water Protectors, written by Carol Lindstrom, illustrated by Michaela Goad. We Are Water Protectors, published by Roaring Brook Press. Thank you, Roaring Brook, for allowing us to read this book together. Water is the first medicine, Nokomis told me. We come from water. It nourished us inside our mother's body as it nourishes us here on Mother Earth. Water is sacred, she said. We stand with our songs and our drums. We are still here. The river's rhythm runs through my veins, runs through my people's veins. My people talk of a black snake that will destroy the land. Spoil the water, poison plants and animals, wreck everything in its path. So this is a pipeline where oil uh, goes through and they're putting different pipelines in the United States and the Native Americans, it's going through their lands. And you know how sacred and beautiful and special these lands are to them. So they're a little scared that some of this oil is going to spill out on its path. When my people first spoke of the black snake, meaning the oil, they foretold that it wouldn't come for many, many years. Now the black snake is here. Its venom burns the land, courses through the water, making it unfit to drink. Take courage. I must keep the black snake away from my village's water. I must rally my people together. To stand for the water, to stand for the land, to stand as one against the black snake. So there have been Native Americans who have been protesting together and they have been standing together to make their thoughts and ideas and wishes known to others. We stand with our songs and our drums. We are still here. It will not be easy. We fight for those who cannot fight for themselves, the winged ones, the crawling ones. Look at these beautiful, beautiful pictures. What a wonderful artist. The four-legged, the two-legged, the plants, the trees, rivers, and lakes. Wow, look at this. The earth. We are all related. Tears like waterfalls stream down 
tracks down my face, tracks down my people's faces. Water has its own spirit, Nokomis told me. Water is alive. Water remembers our ancestors who came before us, she said. See the ancestors over here, those were family members. We stand with our songs and our drums. We are still here. We are all stewards of the earth. Our spirits have not been broken. So stewards of the earth is protectors of the earth, protectors of the water. And you can see the gentle way that she's holding the turtle, protecting of the animals too. We are water protectors. We stand. The black snake is in for the fight of its life. Water is life. Protect the sacred. And then it talks a little bit about water protectors and some of the things that have been happening um, to the tribes and some of the work that they've been doing uh, to protect the earth. Earth Stored and Water Protector Pledge. It says, I will do my best to honor Mother Earth and all its living beings, including the water and land. I will always remember to treat the Earth as I would like to be treated. I will treat the winged ones, the crawling ones, the four-legged, the two-legged, the plants, trees, rivers, lakes, the Earth, with kindness and respect. I pledge to make this world a better place by being a steward of the Earth and a protector of the water. And then there are people, a lot of uh, students, kids, children, adults, and Native Americans, people from all over that they sign and they dated and they pledge to protect the earth. We are water protectors. Now the book that we have here does not have the Caldecott medal because it just so happened that this book was published and printed before it won that medal. So I will probably um, get a picture of one so I could show it to you and so you could see it with the medal on it. But congratulations to Carol Lindstrom and, and Michaela Goad uh, for winning the Caldecott Award for 2021. I am surrounded by Caldecott winners that we have here in the library available for you to check out. The Caldecott Award winners, as I said, have a gold medal, only one win per year. And that illustrator becomes very famous and usually you can find him or her in most libraries around the world, the United States. So it's a pretty big honor to get the Caldecott Award. The first one that I chose uh, was to show you is Make Way for Ducklings. And this one is from 1942, so it's over 70 years ago that it won this award, and it's written by Robert McCluskey. You could see the award right here, the medal placed right in front of the book so everybody knows it's a winner. The next one that I chose another 10 years later is Madeline's Rescue. This is a really famous book. You probably have seen it. And this one's from 1954, so over 50 years ago. The next one that I chose, you have probably seen this one too, Ursa Jack Keats. She's a really famous writer and it has the, the gold medal, the Caldecott Award in 1963 for this one. About 10 years after that. I chose this one for 1970. This is Sylvester and the Magic Pebble, another very, very popular book written, written by and illustrated by William Steg, and that one, he's really well known for his writing and illustrations too, of course, because it's a Caldecott Award winner. The next one, what year? Oh, I had to pick this one. The Polar Express. It's one of our favorites. You probably love it too. This one's 1986 and beautiful, metal in front. Next year that I chose, I really love this book a lot, Grandfather's Journey. And this one is another beautiful Caldecott Award winner. If you open up the books, 
you will have an opportunity. If you look at the illustrations, you will see how just each one is so special and individual in its own way, and it's magnificent and unique and beautiful. You have to enjoy definitely the illustrations on these award winners. 2005, it's uh, Kitten's First Full Moon by Kevin Hanks, and that one is one of the winners. And then we are gonna travel another 10 years, so we're kind of doing decades here. Every 10 years I chose one. And A Sick Day for Amos McGee. And this one is 2011. And then that leads us to today. The one that we read, 2021. We are water protectors. And that's what we had finished reading today. And this is the winner of the 2021 Caldecott Award. So come to the library and if you look around, go ahead and take a look at all the medals that are on the book. There are so many different medals that are given to books. I will, I will with time be talking to you about all the different ones so you're familiar with them. But today, I wanted to surround myself with Caldecott Award winners and I hope you enjoyed this book.